I want to let you in on a little secret. Lately, I've been kind of sitting around, missing my grandparents, and at the same time, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm hungry, I don't know what I want to cook, so I went to all recipes. I don't know if you guys do, I do a lot. And I happen to come across a recipe that actually is their number one most viewed recipe, the most searched, most looked up, and it's called Old Fashioned Pancakes. And not just that, grandma's old-fashioned pancakes and I looked at this recipe and I went that's my grandma's recipe well I think it was a lot of old grandma's recipes right so cooked them up for you guys I want to show you how she did it I made it now watch this for me almost every time grandma cooked pancakes or eggs whatever she always started with bacon I got a little bit of bacon here we're gonna take it off Reason being is she wanted to have that bacon fat on top of whatever she was cooking on. Now I'm gonna take some of it off, not a lot. I do want some, that is like liquid gold to my grandparents. Now for her pancakes, she started with a cup and a half of just flour. And it was just all sifted kind of flour. And then she had a pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of sugar, and about three and a half tablespoons and about three and a half tablespoons of baking powder. And that's exactly what I have here. Now you could use a something to stir it with. I use a fork a lot. Grandma used a fork a lot, believe it or not. I was so surprised when I saw this on all recipes that her recipe was there. I mean, it's damn near identical as far as I can remember. There we go. Now, for her, she had about a cup and a half of milk. She's gonna put a little bit at a time. I may not need a cup and a half of milk. We'll see. Getting some thick consistency though, so we definitely need more milk. Oh, getting better. I definitely see why we need that cup and a half of milk. <laughs> All right, let's put that last bit in. Give it a good stir. Spill some on the side. Yeah, that's good. Actually looking really good. Give it a good stir and get rid of all the clumps, anything like that, of that flour in there. All right, one thing she always did was one egg. Throw it in there, just like that. Give it a good stir. Johnny, this is... Looking pretty good so far. Pretty simple too. Now one of the things that I don't remember her doing, but I'm sure she did, was butter. She used butter a lot. I have three tablespoons of butter here. I'm gonna put it in like that. Mix it in. Now here's the beauty part. If I need to add more flour, I can. If I need to add more milk, well, then I would go ahead and do it, but that looks really good. All right, I'm gonna let that rest for a moment, and then we're gonna throw it onto the Cuisinart. Now, Grandma obviously didn't have a Cuisinart, but she used cast iron. You can use whatever you use to cook. The key to cooking good pancakes is making sure that that top is not too hot. So the only way we're gonna tell for sure is to just make one. And then I'm gonna do a mass fill. So what we're looking for here is those bubbles on the top start popping. You can see a few. We're also looking at the sides, making sure maybe there's a little brown or that crust is starting to harden up on the side. As you can see, we're getting some popping action. It takes about two, two and a half minutes at medium heat on each side for these bad boys. I think it's about time to flip the pancake. 
Oh, perfect. Check it out. Nice golden brown on the top. Our sides there, starting to get a little hard. Start seeing a little brown forming as well. Awesome. Another two minutes. So I'm gonna just put a little hole in the top, kind of let some steam escape out of that. Perfect. I think it's time to give it a flip. Looks good. Got good color on there. Now it's time to start making some pancakes in mass. Now because these are different sizes, of course, they're going to cook a little differently. And the last one, I think. Awesome. I'll see you when these are done. All right, so I lied. They're not done. But following our guidelines on what a good pancake looks like when it's time to flip, check these out. Awesome. A hole on every one of them. These two back ones, probably quite not ready, but close enough for gamma work. I think our pancakes are done, so I'm just gonna start piling them up. May not be, oh no! <laughs> Still good. That is a stack of pancakes, my friends. We have our stack of pancakes here. We've got three right here bacon. Let's cut some butter off. I'm just going to kind of cut it up a little bit like that or tear it apart. Heck yeah, check it out. That is a good looking stack. We're going to pour some maple syrup on it. Get that off the side. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. You guys ready to eat this? I know I am. Let's dig in. And I want to cut away here at the top, the front. My butter's really not melted up top. That's okay. You know, you get the idea, right? Hmm. That's amazing. Grandma knew what she was talking about. Truly. She used that bacon grease, fat, whatever you want to call it, cooked these. That stuff was like gold. But then she just used what she had around the house. I'll tell you my favorite way to eat pancakes. Why this brings back memories. Wow. My favorite way to eat pancakes is without syrup, but butter. I know I'm weird. It's all right. But holy moly, these are freaking amazing. Wow. So dang delicious. Seriously. All right. There you go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and ring that bell for notifications. You know, we have memberships now, $1.99. Get to hang out with the dude. Hang loose. Grandma's old fashioned pancake recipe. Make sure to make these. And when you do, tell me about it. I want to hear how it went for you. All right, we'll talk to you on the next episode, guys. Later.